So in this video, we're going to show you how to find the area of a triangle and then we're going to give you the area of the triangle and ask you to work back to find either an angle or an unknown side. Now, previous knowledge of area of a triangle is area equals half base times height or half length times breadth. That's fine with the right angle triangle or one where its base and height are at perpendicular angles. That's not going to happen in these ones. These are kind of just random triangles. So the formula for area of a triangle is area equals half AB sine C. This is given to you in your formula sheet. And notice from the diagram where I've got the blue ticks, that's what you need to know to be able to do this formula. You need to be able to know two sides and the angle enclosed between. Okay, so example one, we've got to find the area of this triangle. Now, bear in mind, I've said we need the two sides and the angle in between. So we're going to use these ones here. So that six is actually a red herring. So our formula, without having to write the formula out again, it's going to be half of these two sides with a sine of your angle 40. So area equals one half times eight times seven times sine 40. And then when you type that into the calculator, you will get 17.998. So let's round this to one decimal place as 18.0 centimetres squared. And I'm just going to write there that we did round that because it wasn't exactly 18. Okay, so just remember you need the two sides and the angle trapped between it. And that's all you need to do for the formula instead of having to change your letters to suit the triangle. Second example, same again, we've got the two sides. We've got the angle in between, so we can just go straight to our formula. So area equals a half of your two sides, doesn't matter which way around you put them, times sine 130. Type that into your calculator. And you will get 22.98, so rounding that up, that goes to 23.0 again, square centimetres, and that was to one decimal place. Okay, so they're nice straightforward ones, which is asking the area. Obviously, it's going to get trickier than that. There are cases where it asks you to work out angles instead, right? So in this case, I have the area, and I want to find the obtuse angle. Notice this is in bold and underlined, okay? So to work out this angle, we're going to start with a formula. So area equals half AB sine C. And we're going to put in what we know. So this is a working backwards question. I know my area is 36. I know my sides are 8 and 10. And I don't know what sine C is, although in this case it's sine B. So I'm going to change it to sine B. Let's tidy this up a wee bit. That gives us 40 times sine B. We need to divide by that 40 to counteract the times in. So you've got 36 over 40 equals sine B. And at that point to get B, you then do inverse sine of 36 over 40. Remember to type that into your calculator. You can either use your fraction button or you can do um, bracket 36 divided by 40. And it gives us an answer of 64 degrees. Now, if you look at your picture, that doesn't quite match. It's an obtuse angle. So to get the obtuse angle, the trick is you just subtract that from 180. So the obtuse angle is 180, take away 64, which is 116. So sorry, that's squeezed in. If you don't believe me, go try typing into your calculator. A half times eight times 10 times sine 116, you will get the answer of 36. This is explained further once you come on to do trig equations and you have seen this diagram. If you haven't seen that diagram yet, don't fret it out. That will explain further why we take away from 180 because um, sine of any number has two possible answers. One that lands between zero and 90, which is your acute angle. That is the only one the calculator gives you. And there is always another answer that lines between 90 and 180. But as I said, that will be explained further. So the trick right now is subtract from 180. Okay, if we're asking for obtuse one. There are questions that sometimes say find possible sizes. So it mentions plural. If that was the case, you would say angles are 64 and 116. So in anything, in maths and National 5 now, um, trigonometry... They, they are getting fancy. They like to put them in non-calculator questions as well. So we'll put our calculator away. We want the area of this triangle. So I'm going to start my form again. Area equals half AB sine C. Notice I'm not 
losing any sleep or worrying about changing the letters here. I'm just using the normal formula because we know we need those two sides and that angle in between. And although I don't have angle E, I do have something written for sine E. So our area is going to be a half of 8 times 12 times whatever sine, now sine E, in this case I'll change it there, sine E. Now they've said that sine E equals 2 thirds. So instead of me writing sine E here, I'm going to replace that with simply 2 thirds. There should be no words left in the formula, okay? If there are words left in your formula and you suddenly just ignore them and do all the number stuff, they'll take marks off you. So from there, let's just test your math skills. We can do this in any order. I would personally do a half of 8 is 4. 2 thirds of 12 is good old divide the bottom times the top. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So I've got 4 times 8, which is the answer of 32 centimetres squared. And that concludes the types of questions you'll have for area of a triangle. Thank you.